Hello, Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome back to my new tutorial of our step 7 semantic manager. So in this video we are going to discuss about how we adding a module in our uh, project. We have we add a rail in our project. So you will see that how it is going to work. So first of all you will see that I am just going to delete that like that. And I am going to insert a station. So you will see I have so inserting an station I'm going to delete that and you will see a semantic station which is 3 MB now you will see I am going to add a hardware so you will see how we are going to add a hardware I am going to click S7 if we have to add S7 400 so we select that so if we add to S7 300 so we are going to choose that so first of all we are choose a rail we need a rail to insert our modules so you will see we have our relay rail now we are going to choose two because in the first we are going to use a power supply so if we need to add a power supply we are going to use like that power supply add it and now I am going to use a CPU I am just choosing 3152DP like that and you will see that it will asking for profibus so I am just going to click that ok I am not using a profibus I am using an MPA so you will see that I am using an MPA interface in it like that and ok now you will see our CPU has a pro MPA address now how we add uh, it's a modules input digital input output analog input output so first of all you will see i am going to di300 which is digital input and output and i am going to use di32 24 volt it is going to add into 4 and now i am going to use a digital output also i am going to use do 32 bit do 32 where is our 32 it is really you will see that that module now I am going to add an analog input so you will see that and I am going to use a 16 bit AI8 and if I am going to use an RTD you will see that we also have an RTD for our thermocouple so if we are going to add we are going to add like that now I am going to add an analog output you will see that and I am just choosing the 16 bit analog output like that I think that's it now we are going to it making an address now you will see here is an address it starts from 0 to 3 you will see that we are also making an address and if I am going to change that to 0 to 7 like that you will see that it is now going to change and now I am going to choose an analog input and addressing and just choosing to 30 like that analog output we are going to use also from 30 like that so you will see that how we change our address and now I am going to choose that to 46 to so you will see that our PLC module has now added I think that's it that's how we are going to add our modules in our PLCs and thank you very much for watch my video please subscribe my channel like my video and click the bell icons and don't forget to read the description there is my contact whatsapp contact and many more things or many more links of another tutorial so if you want to learn watch my videos so thank you very much again